Hi guys, Jared O'Neill here, Wheelcastle Decorating. Uh, it's four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, and uh, I'm, believe it or not, I'm working on an exterior job, exterior painting. And a big question a lot, of, a lot of people ask is, can you paint outside in the winter? And the answer is yes, but under certain conditions, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't recommend it, but it can be done. Um, I mean, we're in December here, and I'm on an outside job here. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this one is this is a very good customer. And uh, I promised her I would get this job done before Christmas. And Mary, who's my customer, asked me to do this job at Easter. You know, and, you know, I have so much inside work to do, which I had to cancel till the new year. Uh, I'm doing a district office in Belfast as well. And I have so much private work going at the minute, you know, but... Uh, this is a very good customer and uh, I have to do it for her. It's as simple as that. You know, but there's certain things that you do need to be aware of when you're working outside. The very first one is, uh, which is very important, the temperature. You know, uh, ideally above five degrees, you can put most paints on. Secondly, if it is over the winter months, if I have to go on to an outside job, I won't go first thing in the morning, like 8 o'clock. I'll go mid-morning, between 10 and 11. Wait till the temperature rises a bit. And, uh, you know, uh, and the, the services give a service a wee chance. Because services do, see with the frost and the ice and stuff like that, they do be damp. So you do need to let the surface do have to be dry. If the surfaces are damp in any shape or form, you can't touch them, you know. So you really do need to be very, very careful, you know. Uh, you know, and again, um, I'm using on this. So basically, I'll tell you what I'm using on this job. I'm, do, I'm all the sills are getting done, uh, which is ideal. I'm using Plalite, which is a, a masonry resin based paint. Believe it or not, I think now nah, don't quote me on this. I do think you can put it on minus two degrees which isn't ideal, you don't want to be working outside minus two. But, uh, you know, uh, over the winter months, um, it's a perfect masonry paint. If you need to use masonry, it's the only masonry paint that I would use. So that's called Plalite. Uh, it's touch dry within 10 minutes. So if a shower comes down, you have no problems. Uh, okay, so the facey boards and soffits here, uh, I am using, uh, which I always use, Santex, Flexible Primer Undercoat and then the finish coat is Santex Flexible uh, Gloss. Again, I highly recommend mend, uh, Santex oil-based paints for woodwork, you know, very, very good uh, product. And um, yeah, so I've all around this outside, I've got all the faces and soffits undercoated, most of them. Uh, I've got a very few cells uh, done as well which I will show you here and now. I'll just pop this over here. So there's a finish on that cell there. As you can see, real nice finish. I just coated that there um, basically five months ago. That wee one there as well. And they were in quite in bad uh, shape. So just show you there. And then I'll just pop the camera on around here here we have here, see all those big white balls? I think they look fantastic. They were all covered in green moss. I had to clean them all down, sand them. Uh, I treated them with a primer, alkali resistant primer, and then two coats of Plalite. But look at that, don't they look really well? So I've got those finished and, uh, you know, uh, I'll just go back here and show you the uh, very side here. So, here we go, back again. So it's, an, it's a lovely way I'd say, a lot of detail in those wee peaks there. So as you can see, that's all undercoated there. There's a couple of wee bits up in the corner there, uh, had to be replaced by a joiner, the wood was rotten. We got that replaced. And obviously I've run the back and sides to do as well. But the whole lot's all undercoated, okay? Um, 
So another wee tip that I would suggest as well, whenever you're doing, uh, I'll just bring over to these here again, so we close up on those are, as you can see. They were really in bad shape, you know. Don't they really set the, the outside off? They're lovely, I have to say, nice wee feature. Anyway, yeah, so plylite, yes, as I say, if you're going to work outside with a masonry, always use plylite, okay? So uh, you can put it on at very low temperatures and it, it does dry. Make sure the surfaces are, you know, don't, as I say, don't start until mid-morning. Do not go on an outside job in the winter at 8 o'clock. It's too cold, surface is very damp, and the temperature is too cold, you know, you can't put the paint on, basically. Always make sure it is above 5 degrees, okay? And your oil-based paints, uh, whenever you're using gloss and undercoat, uh, put a drop of uh, most uh, manufacturers supplied. It's called dryers. So you mix that with your gloss, and it basically enhances the drying time. You know. Uh, so that big question is: yes, you can work outside over the winter months. Um, again, I don't advise it. You, you, as I say to you, there, that's only a few tips. If you really have to do it, yes, you can do it. But, um, uh, I mean, if I had a big job to do, a big outside, you know, uh, which I've had a lot of, you know, like a big detached house, you know, maybe 8,000 square feet house or something like that, and there's maybe a month's work on it or whatever, I wouldn't go anywhere near it, you know, because you just wouldn't get it done, you know. When you're doing outside over the winter months, you just have to pick and choose your days. Uh, and for me, I can do that, you know, so when I'm doing, well, because I have, uh, I have another few inside jobs going at the minute. So it likes a tomorrow, if it's raining, I'll go to my inside job. I only pick and choose what days I can. Uh, I say, it has to be dry, it has to be above five degrees and start mid-morning. So I hope that's good, uh, a few good tips are for you if you want to work outside. So as I say, use plow light masonry, put dryers into your oil-based paints. Start mid-morning, between 10 and 11, and make sure the temperature's above 5 degrees. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now.